Hey, guess what, y'all? It is Thanksgiving afternoon, and I got Yaya with me. I've been calling her Yaya since she was a little bitty thing, just knee high to a grasshopper. But now, are you the valedictorian? No. No. Close? Sorry. Where are you ranked in your school? I'm number two. Hey, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> but she has applied. What schools have you applied to? Come on, come on. Let's talk about this. If you had your if you had your choice, number one, what school do you want to go to? MIT. Okay, y'all. We're pulling for MIT and we're going to do a catch clean and cook. Two, number two. Number two? Yeah. Columbia. Oh, Columbia. Number three. Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. The Gators didn't eat, weren't even in the top three. They're in the top five. Hey, top five, that's good. That's good. But uh I'm pulling for MIT, you guys. My older brother Aubrey, Brito Mastrande, is holding the camera right now. He just broke his collarbone. And I got a plate and screws, I'm good. Yeah, so we're headed out. Yaya has never killed a hog or deer or anything like that. But for her graduation present, she's been so dedicated, motivated, and driven in school. We're gonna go out this afternoon and find one. So uh ready? Ready. Alright. It happens right now, y'all. This is just the way we live. And we love it. your heartbeat. <laughs> Size sow hog. Are you kidding me? Lauren. That is such a stud. That's how you do it. Alright, y'all, so that's the old Howa 6.5 Creed more. Hornady, 143 grain, precision hunters. The crazy thing is, this is the first time she's ever shot at anything. That's the second time this gun's ever shot at anything. 
and look at the size of that hog. That is such a perfect animal. He ain't small. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here's the deal. It's Thanksgiving Day, 2018. Lauren has been wanting to hunt, but she's been so dedicated to her studies, she's just not had much time. So, got out here today. I'm telling you, you couldn't have shot a better eating hog. I mean, this is just perfect. So now, hey, if I can get 5,000 thumbs up, she's going to do the cleaning video with me. <laughs> yeah? Hey, if I can get 10,000 likes, I'm gonna give her the knife, the silver stag that she cleans it with. Aubrey, do I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up for me, my brother. There's one. Waiting There's on two. you guys. <laughs> All right, and then you need to be thinking of your recipe because you are doing the cleaning portion, okay? All right, sounds good. So what do you think of the gun? Oh, dude, primo. <laughs> primo conditions. I thought I missed him, but obviously I didn't. So my hands are shaking so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let me, let me just. Hey, hey, Robert, uh, explain how we could hear the hogs and could hear them. And we're like, Lauren, you hear that? And Lauren's like, I can't. I'm like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, so here, another thing, Lauren is very hard of hearing. What, what do you consider that, hearing, hearing impaired? Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, so I don't know what the politically correct, but she wears hearing aids, she's had hearing problems. So I'm like, you hear them? She's like, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and when we came around, um, later in the summer, there's a feeder company called Castaway Feeders. And I mean, they are awesome feeders. I bought 12 of them and we put them out all over the ranch so that while I was gone on my travels, they would still be working. And sure enough, came back here to a little spot I call Sarah's stand. And how many hogs were there? They're everywhere you look, there were so hogs many. going through the woods. I was like, which one do I point at? <laughs> well, you picked the perfect one. That is such a premium hog. Hey. This ain't no AP calculus, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, AP calculus. I, I don't even know how to spell calculus. Where did I hit him? More than likely. Where you aim. Where you aim. Pull. Pull. Go ahead. Yeah. Pull. Pull her up there. You got her. Okay. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hit her. Pull. Merry Christmas, y'all. Welcome to Rito's house. They've already got the Christmas tree up, literally. Thanksgiving's been over for six minutes and they've got the Christmas tree up. And Aubrey, I said, Aubrey, dude, you gotta cook up something really epic with this hog meat. He's like, oh, bro, I got it. I got this. How exactly did he say it? He said he got it. Yeah, he was like, don't come over, bro, I got it. I don't know the correct way to put this, but it was Dude, basically, no, 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 it was a 100% fail. This video would have had like 30 million views if the camera would have been in focus, but. Lauren, there's a fire extinguisher in there in the drawer with the pans. He's gonna hose it down. Hey, you want fire extinguisher? No, no, no. Safety first. <laughs> this is a catch clean and burn the house down. That would have been great. Like this video would have been named Brito Mas Grande's epic catch, clean and cook failure. But no, no, we can't get a viral video like that. The camera's gotta be fully out of focus. And you even actually ran to get the fire extinguisher. Yeah. yeah. That was great thinking, right by the way. <laughs> I didn't even know. She didn't happened. even ask. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Safety first. Yeah, you know, you know. So, I was like, hey, Aubrey, what time should I be over for this epic rib meal? He's like, 4 p.m. We ain't getting that. I ain't getting it. Y'all ain't getting it. They didn't even get it. They did put the fire out though. So, hey, but all wasn't lost, all wasn't lost. But the good news is we've been eating on this hog for three days straight and it's good. We're not tired of it yet. We've got some pork tacos here and uh, yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to do the ribs flat out, but I'm gonna show Robert my version of pork tacos so at least he can taste it. 
Homeboy has a stomach like a buzzard. So he's probably got all kinds of peppers and hot stuff in there, which I will not eat. I'll confess, this is backstrap. Because um, if you got backstrap, why wouldn't you eat it? So I took backstrap, I took um, yellow, orange, bell peppers, scallions, and a little bit of jalapeno. I stir fried all that up. Of course, I made a fresh little pico here. And my, my funnest invention, or I don't know if I made this, but I like to do it. Lauren and I are big fans of sour cream. So sour cream's awesome, but it's awkward to get on your tacos. So you just kind of put it in a little Ziploc bag, just like that right there. And you know, if you think you got enough, give it a little bit more. So let's taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. There's definitely something hot and spicy in there. I would never put jalapenos in that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <Open> your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best trick ever. I try to learn something every single day and just store it away in the whole bank of knowledge and then you, you use it when you need it. I mean, leave in the comments below what else you would put in that bag that you would squeeze onto tacos or meat or this, that, and the other. Because I guarantee I'm going to use that a lot. Congratulations on making a great shot, killing your first hog. Hopefully we get to take you out more in the future. Sounds great. Life is what you make it. That's all we got for you. Take care. God bless. We are gone.